A lot of YouTubers make a name for themselves by constantly making the most extreme content they can think of. This doesn't always go as planned, and every once in a while you'll come across a video where they just barely survived. Number 11. It's a cold winter day when a YouTuber named Ali Law and a large group of friends decide to climb the Tyne Bridge in the UK. They know that they will be in major trouble if they get caught, but that doesn't stop them from scaling the structure and seeing how high they can climb. Traffic races by below them, and the cars look incredibly small. Just one gust of wind could send them over. They trudge ahead in a single row, if one of them has second doubts or gets tired, then the rest won't be able to pass. They stop to celebrate on a platform at the very top, but they still have a long way back down. By the time they reach the bottom, the police are waiting for them. Ali Law manages to ditch them, but it isn't long before they find him and arrest him. Worse still, this video upload could be all the evidence that prosecutors need to prove his wrongdoings. So even though they survived the Tyne Bridge, he might not be in the clear just yet. I hope this can all be resolved amicably. Number 10. A YouTuber named Tim Wells is out bow hunting with his friends when a flock of geese appear directly overhead. One of them aims and takes fire without properly taking the angle of his shot into account. Oh, watch this barrel. This barrel's straight up. It's coming right for us. He shoots roughly 90 degrees into the air and you can actually hear the projectile cutting through the wind like a missile as it heads back towards their exact position. It somehow lands roughly 10 feet in the middle of all of them and they barely get away. Judging from the size of the arrow, there's no way any of them would have survived a direct hit. Number 9. A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle, if not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friends. Number 8. John Collis is at the Garden of the Gods in Colorado, when he ironically almost meets his maker himself. Listen to the rising panic in his voice after he realizes this portion of the rock is almost completely smooth. His fingers search and search the wall but find nothing to grab onto. His grip is weakening and finally he is forced to let go. There's nothing left for him to do but drop and hope his safety harness holds out, which it does. He survives with only the skin peeled off of one finger, but obviously it could have been so much worse. Number 7. A YouTuber named Dan Hallman is riding down the road when something almost ends his life in an instant. Brick dislodges itself from a passing truck and flies through Dan's windshield on the driver's side. Look again and you can see large shards of glass flying across the dash top from the sheer force. If the brick had gone through the front windshield instead, then it most likely would have smashed directly into his face. Number 6. A sports bike enthusiast named 6'4 Honda has a YouTube channel full of adventures taken on the open road. Today he is riding down the shoulder lane through heavy traffic, which puts 6'4 Honda on edge. And for good reason, as you'll see. Be careful on this one. Watch out for your mirrors. Literally two seconds after warning to be careful, a black pickup truck decides to make a U-turn to get out of the traffic. What the f*** is backing up? I shouldn't be doing this. Six foot four Honda quickly accelerates and barely manages to get out of the way in time. He doesn't even waste his energy confronting the driver and simply continues going down the road, glad to still be in one piece. 
Based on his reaction, I would say this is not the first time something like this has happened to him. And sadly, it probably won't be the last. Number 5. A YouTuber named Harry Brook is filming himself in a bullpen. When one of the bulls strays away from the rest, Harry doesn't even have time to shut the gate before the giant animal charges straight for him, and he barely makes it up the fence with his life. Clearly, there is nothing that any of the fellow ranchers could have done to save him. The entire event is over in less than 10 seconds. Number 4. A YouTube channel called Golden Hour travels to a local lake that is just barely frozen over. They walk out a pretty good distance and then start taking turns hitting the ice right next to each other with an axe. It's a crazy game they've just come up with to see whoever will fall through first. The only problem is that they aren't exactly sure how deep this part of the lake is and the temperature is freezing. They soon decide to end this game early before anyone gets hurt. But then they come up with another equally crazy variation. This time they stand on the ice and try to sink themselves instead of each other. Thankfully the spot they are standing in is only knee deep, but I just wanted to stress that they could have easily been standing on a sharp embankment and could have gone completely under. If that would have happened, they wouldn't have had very long to get out before it's too late. Number 3. A YouTuber named Alex Hayes and his friends find a cool looking stone perch overlooking the beach below. The good weather has them in high spirits and it isn't long before they are playing around near the ledge. Alex wants to impress everyone with a headstand, but it doesn't exactly work out as planned. Holy sh- oh. Don't do that to me, oh my goodness. Holy sh- oh. Pause here and you'll see how close Alex was to tumbling over. He barely catches himself with his right hand, and if his right leg went back any further, then he would have definitely lost his balance. Number 2. A YouTuber named JMX decides to push himself to his absolute limits by taking one of the most extreme YouTube challenges yet. What are we going to be doing? We're going to be not drinking water for 48 hours. To be clear, this challenge includes not just abstaining from liquids, but also from any food products with water in them as well. Things are going okay at first, but after about 20 hours into the challenge, his thirst starts to get the better of him. JMX's voice becomes scratchy and his lips grow white and chapped. He said he feels confused and not like himself at all, and there are still more than 24 hours to go. Two hours to go till we're halfway, so we're 20 hours down, and yeah, I still kind of kind of feel like, yeah, to be honest, I just, I honest, I, I, I want to drink so bad. By the second day, he comes down with a bad cold and feels completely terrible. He does not look or sound like the same person we saw at the beginning of the video. Watch this part and tell me if you agree. Okay, we're about three hours away now. I honestly just want to <laughs> drink something. By hour 46, he feels like he might be in serious trouble, but he refuses to give up this far in. A friend makes him book a doctor's appointment, and JMX tries to finish the last two hours of the challenge under medical supervision. The doctors eventually force him to take in fluids through a needle before the 48 hours are up. JMX thinks that being given fluids through a needle does not count as breaking the challenge. Either way, I'm glad he experienced no long-lasting effects from this experiment. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a new song called Dreamland. Please let me know if you think my music is improving or not. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my new song to give it a listen. It's a Proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1. YouTuber Landon Close and his friend have the idea to sneak onto a stranger's property and use their pool for his vlog. They sit in the car and wait until they find a house that they think is best for this idea. The cameraman certainly seems nervous. Guys, this is like pretty sketchy. You can't get arrested for this, right? Dude. You, you can't. But Landon is confident in their plan. 
They question if doing this could get them in trouble with police, which yes it can, but they decide to continue on anyways. Landon props open the gate for an escape route and then proceeds to do a backflip into the pool. The plan is a success until the homeowner sees what they are doing and confronts them. As soon as they see the homeowner, they take off using their escape route. One of the gates closes and the cameraman almost gets left behind. They get away successfully, but according to the description, the police were called. Though I don't think they meant to cause any harm to the homeowner or their property, they could have gotten into massive trouble for doing this. Or who knows what would have happened if the homeowner caught up with them. In addition, depending on what state this was filmed in, stand your ground laws could have meant the homeowner had the ability to take their lives for sneaking onto their property. It's never worth potentially losing your life for YouTube content. Project Zorgo is a new hacker group who for months have been threatening the very livelihood of the YouTube community. Lately, the hackers seem to be getting more and more aggressive in their attempts to take over the website and bend all of its users to their will. 